it's down see here what I'm doing it was up I'm doing inhale exhale drop and when I drop the buttock I'm namaste to all yogis I hope you all are doing great practicing yoga every day to keep yourself healthy and happy today pose we will learn Ardha Matsendrasana so today pose will be twisting pose and you will learn this asana properly step by step and how to do correct let's get started welcome to the youtube channel Prashant J Yoga this is Prashant and today we will be Matsendrasana tutorial Matsendrasana understand first Matsendra Nath this asana is dedicated to Matsendra Nath who was a Matsendra Nath the first Hatha Yogi okay so Guru Goraknath you might have heard his Guru was Matsendra Nath so Matsendra Nath was a one Hatha Yogi after Shiva there's a long story about it I will not go there we will come to the pose so Matsendra Asana is in this pose what we are going to it's a sitting twist standing twist different work sitting twist different work you need to be very careful when you do sitting asana because standing asana all the joints are free easily you can move them but sitting asana there are some limitations so matsendra asana because it is a twisting pose and second thing it's in sitting asana more limitations so you need to be very careful and learn the steps from today and then correct your asana from today itself let's do it so first Ardha Matsendra Asana what we need first we need to check that my body is ready to do Matsendra Asana or not understand when we do sitting twist it is very important for the spine to be straight and if the spine is not straight you will never be able to take a turn nice turn second Matsendra Asana when we do we want the both sitting bones on the ground some of the teachers maybe teach that one is up it is fine totally there's no wrong but here we will learn how to keep the both sitting bones on the ground okay so first check my body is ready or not so first I will sit in Dandasana like this I will check my body my back see my back if my back is straight like this it's fine I can do but if my back is this and if I'm the round back and if I'm trying to lift my back but while lifting the back my knees are bending it means you don't have the much flexibility here and because of that your spine is not elongated your spine is not coming straight it means you need something under the buttocks so I will request everyone those who feel that the spine is curved spine is not straight place something under the buttocks boosters cushion you can see that boosters cushion anything and elevate your buttocks a little higher and for twisting it is very important second after checking this we will check how far I can go so now for example this if I twist gently like this way so first prepare so stay in Dandasana place the left hand and place the right hand outside of the left leg twist now see if you see this is a second point to check if you see your right shoulder the front shoulder is not coming the center of your body okay if it's not coming the center of the body and aligned with the back shoulder it means spine is not flexible it means you will feel hard you will not be able to breathe in Ardha Matsendra Asana when you will reach there because some of us what we do we just try to enter in the pose we don't see that how the breath is moving we don't see that how the breath should be so here I will request you all first check with its two steps so this is second step check okay if you see that your shoulders are turned your spine is not curved like this your spine is straight and then you are turning opening the chest and you are free for breathing it means you are ready for Madhama Sindrasana and if you feel that you are not ready right now so what you will do you will do gentle preparation and preparation can be do at least few round of sun salutation which will help your spine to become flexible 
so after just checking these two steps now come to the asana so first what we will do we will take a dandasana sitting straight and then after that we will bend the knee like this and when we bend the knee see my buttocks tilt forward and I my spine became more straight see when I, I was there see my spine and when I am there see my spine it's more long so this you will do first and once you will do this now the second thing you will do is that you will bring this left leg first I'm showing you from the front so you can see first nicely this leg outside so it's like bringing the knee down and bending the left lower leg so if I see from the back it will look like this this see that this way so that this heel the bottom leg heel will be a little bit outside not completely inside you're not sitting on this outside why because we need the space for the buttocks and that's what I was telling you you need to sit both sitting bones do not lift one side for Ardhamat Sen Rasna in the beginning maybe later if you feel that you cannot even move possible but right now learn to be center so see how I'm sitting can you see that this so my left leg is down my heel is down and my knee is down and now once this is settled now I will place this foot this foot is inside like this and inside how much see that from the front that much inside this knee and toe in one line but this is also one thing those who are not flexible with the buttocks for them it will not come their buttock will come up like mine see it is up and I said to drop it down but if you try to drop it down your knee will come like this what to do now and that's what I said you sit on the booster elevate the buttock it will not come even if it is coming now what you do you bring the foot little forward for a few days few round once you will become flexible bring it in in closer and closer okay so after coming to first sitting position then bring this forward and now drop deep big toe see here most of us we may more pay attention to twist but we don't pay attention that which part of the body is supporting the asana in this asana ardha matsendra asana this big toe the front big toe this big toe this one is supporting the body so i press this part the big toe part when i press the big toe part my leg is not sliding so i am having the base and then when i have the base when i have the centering pose see here now i interlock your fingers and you will do the same interlock inhale straight in the back and open the chest from the beginning open the chest do not collapse okay because if you make this habit very hard for you so interlock take inhale deeper you elongate your spine chest up and then after elongating the spine what you will do you will try to drop the buttocks down see here what I'm doing it was up I'm doing inhale exhale drop and when I drop the buttock I'm not rounding my back can you see that I'm still maintaining the extension of my spine and at the same time I'm descending my right buttock down like this and then once everything is settled now you hold the upper knee with the left hand inhale right hand up elongate the right side of the body and then exhale without descending the spine you open the shoulder like this do not bring the hands this way open like this this way and then hands why this way why not this because if you bring the hand this way down your body will shrink down because your body will not understand how to elongate how to become longer and longer so I want you to inhale raise first exhale make a round and place see when I raise my chest my chest is a little higher now only I'm taking rotation from my shoulder I'm not descending this part and then place the fingertip got it now inhale and exhale twist inhale 
by using the press palm exhale twist inhale exhale twist now once you twist proper now hold this knee with right hand here hold it with the thigh so it will not drop so you lock it and now straighten the back inhale raise the left one and now exhale make a lock with elbow and see now it's stuck now place the palm again inhale raise the chest exhale twist inhale raise the chest exhale twist by pushing the knee with your left elbow like this so this hand is leading your chest to move right side and right hand is helping your spine not to fall down it is elongating this and when you feel comfortable lock inhale go forward to the armpit and then from here you hold the foot and from back you straight the body and then turn place the palm stay here chin towards the shoulder five breaths and once you complete inhale look forward exhale release then inhale chest up exhale open the hand bending bringing and then dasana and then relax let's try other side i'll show again so how we did first bend lay raise the spine bend this one outside of the left next step bend this outside next step place the left hand back and elongate the spine hold the knee and then from here drop the buttock down okay interlock your fingers inhale straight back exhale open the chest now hold the knee with the right hand raise the hands inhale exhale rotate place open the left chest inhale exhale inhale exhale once you twist little bit prepare hold the upper knee with the same side of the hand raise the opposite arms inhale and exhale lock and then from here push left hand back long get your spine with inhalation lift the chest with exhalation push the knee inside and then rotate twist and then press the palm and hold the foot then straight breathe if you cannot reach there just stay here but keep using the back hand to straighten the back and keep twisting the body keep twisting the body breathe fight by soft breathing the chest and then look forward inhale exhale release hands back lift the chest straight and release and dandasan exhale one thing here when you do this how much the navel should move so if you see here when i twist this side how much you should do your navel right now can you see that your navel should be completely outside this is the proper ardhamat sendrasana if the navel is not coming outside at least bring it top of the thigh if not keep doing this it will come by the time i want you to do this pose every day three round in the morning which will help you to to improve the digestive system which will also help you to improve the fire the blood circulation goes all over the body and especially this is good for lower intestine those who have constipation the the small intestine also if the food is not properly giving you the your, your body is not able to receive the nutrient out from the food very good pose for you this is also very good for us for those people who have is issues the back issue those who work longer period of time in sitting asana they must do ardha masendra asana but make sure those who are suffering from back pain don't do too much intense twisting pose because twisting pressed the spine twisting 
decrease the length of the spine and that's the reason I'm paying attention to put something under to use the back hand to all the time elevate the buttocks all the time straight in the back and then only it will help never make a round in twisting remember this I'm telling you again and again never make a round always if you think that round, my spine is rounded my chest is collapsed I cannot breathe stop there come back a little bit okay do easy one and repeat Repetition gives a result. Intensity will not give you the result. Repetitions. Try this and I will see you in next video. If you're new to the channel, please share, subscribe and you can write me in comment if you, if you want something else, if, if you have any question. Enjoy the day. Thank you. Namaste.